Hey everybody, today we're gonna talk about the weight of life. Let's get started. Hey everybody, it's me, Henry. Today in this video, we're gonna talk about the book by Mr. Kazuo Inamori, which is The Way of Life. Now, when we talk about the weight of life, I have my own weight of life, and you have your own weight of life in this world. Different people, different ways of life. But the question is, how are we gonna measure? What is a better weight of life? And what is the right weight of life as a human? Now, according to this book, we are actually living in a messy and complicated world. It means the rich people, they will never feel enough to chase for money, chase for materials, power. And for the poor people, they would do anything for a living to get money. Ding, ding, ding. No, the problem is the method, whether it is a good way or a bad way. Or in another word, in this world, as long as you have the energy, you can work, you can get money. Or if you want to get more money, you can do part-times, different sources of incomes, and you can be rich, you can buy the things that you want. So in this case, now we should say, ideally everybody should be feeling happy. You make money, you can achieve what you want. But the problem is, there are still people are suffering depression. So is it people, they lost in their life, they don't find the value in their life? Or some people, they might ask, what is the purpose of life? Why am I exist in this world? And why am I living in this world? What is the purpose of being here? And according to this book, we human, we need direction. And in order to get this direction, we need philosophy so that we can choose the best direction, the right direction for us in our life. And today, if you ask Mr. Inamori, what is the purpose of life? And Mr. Inamori would directly answer you. The purpose of life is to elevate your soul. And Mr. Inamori, he said humans are the only creature in the world who have the unlimited desire to chase for material, the money, the power. But to certain people, they just want to make money for living. They just want to make money to feed their family, to achieve what they want in their life. But at this moment, have you ever thought about this? What can you bring along with you when you are living this world? When you check out from this world, have you ever thought about this? Now, it doesn't mean the money is not important for us. We need this part of our life to support our life. But we have to think in too deep in this way. So what can you bring along with you? Is that the money that you have? Is that the, the house that you have? The beautiful car, the luxury sports car that you can bring along when you die? So the only thing we can bring along with us when we are living this world is the soul that's the only thing you can bring along with you and according to mr in the morning when we check out from this world what we're looking at is your soul's level compared to the first day you came to this world that we need to compare so what we are looking at is we are hoping our soul level is higher a little bit better a little bit compared to the first day we check in to this world now you see in this world there are so many people they complain about their life they say why am i so bad luck why am i so unlucky people they can get good salary why keep complaining and blaming on this so to certain people they would take this as the way how to practice themselves how to train themselves to enhance themselves in the end to elevate the soul take it as the process to harm your soul and when we talk about the soul's quality it depends on your attitude if you have the right attitude you will have a good quality soul and on the flip side if you have the wrong attitude you will definitely have the bad quality so now let's take an example a young man who is talented who is very smart a businessman so in the world of business it is a very successful entrepreneur make a lot of money but the problem is he make the money from the bad method from the wrong way so in the end i would say it is a waste of time because you will have to pay for it how you start and how you end 
it is a waste of time. So we need a compass, we need a direction, a philosophy. And there is a formula for personality according to Mr. Inamori. He said, a good personality equals to character plus philosophy. Character is from the time since you were born. And plus the philosophy is what you learn in your life. So the character plus the philosophy equals to the right personality, a good personality. And that is the weight of life. The weight of living depends on the philosophy you have. So the question is, how are we gonna choose the right philosophy? And the standard answer is ask yourself, what is the right thing to do as a human? Is cheating right? Is killing right? So by default, ask yourself, ask your heart, what is the right thing to do? So just follow that. Now, according to Mr. In the Morning, he said when he was 27, when he established, started the Kyocera, he had no clue what is the right criteria to make the decision. So in the end, he said, just follow the heart. He remembered the words from his parents. Ask yourself, what is the right thing to do as a human? So in the end, he has the word. Respect the divine and love people. So he made the right choice. So from the book, he described the Japanese people nowadays. If you tell them about moral, they will laugh at you. They will say, are you serious? Do you have any problem in your brain? So this is because before the World War II, they used the moral in the wrong way. And right after the World War II, Japanese people, they hate about more. They say more is rubbish. But at this point, do you think more is the foundation of being a fine human? So more is the foundation. Don't you think so? So we need more and the right thinking. Because once you have the right thinking, you will put more efforts, work harder towards your goal, and you can understand more about the meaning of life. Now the question is, to understand the meaning of life, do we need to meditate in the middle of the mountain? Now the answer is no. We can practice this in our working life. Now as long as you focus, you know what you want, you have the passion and work harder and to practice yourself, to elevate your soul, then you will understand what is the meaning of life. Focus, strive harder than anyone else, then you can make money, you can buy the things that you want. Not bad, huh? But talk about work hard. Nobody wants to work hard. Nobody live work hard because it's not easy. You have to sweat. You have to experience all the bad things in order to get the things that you want. But some people, they take in this way, working hard and experiencing the, all the ups and downs. So they look at this way. This is the right way to practice themselves and to elevate their soul train their soul, they enhance their soul. Example, the well-known Mr. Ninomiya Sontoku, who was born and raised in a poor family, uneducated, and the only thing he did was strive harder than anyone else with a hole to turn the empty land to become a wealthy land, to become a very successful entrepreneur. And no doubt, it is not easy to become a farmer with a sweaty body, you have to work harder. So Mr. Nino Miyasuntoku took it as a practice to train himself and enhance his soul to the next level. In the end, he became a very successful entrepreneur. And all this is because the attitude. And there is a formula for a successful life by Mr. Inan Moore, which is mindset multiplied by passion, multiplied by talent. So let's talk about passion and talent. So if you're gonna scale this to the passion and talent is from zero to 100 and can learn this at any time. But the hardest thing is the mindset because the mindset, it could be from negative 100 to positive 100. So which means if your mindset is negative even one, negative one, no matter how hard you work, how good you are at your talent or your passion, no matter how you make it, in the end it's negative. So I would say, it would just waste your time if you have the wrong mindset. Example, if you are good at certain talent and you have a passion, but you're gonna steal money, you're gonna do some bad things, so 
in the end, you will end up in the bad way. So it, it's a karma, the love cause and effect. So you have to watch up your mindset. Feed your mindset with the right food, which is the positive contents, the positive ingredients to your mindset. And that's the key. So follow your heart, moral, and a good mindset, how you start and how you end. Now, when we talk about the negative mindset, Mr. Inamora, he say it is shame to tell that previously during the young age, he was almost become part of the gangster, the bad guy. So he say with his passion and his talent, he believe he can be a leader from the gangster. But the problem is the mindset because you started the bad thing, the mindset, because you do the bad thing, no matter how good you are, in the end, negative is still negative and you will end in a bad way. So in the end, he stopped this. He refused to join to become a gangster. And today, look at his achievement. It is exactly like what he mentioned, how you start and how you end. And another thing he talked about mindset is you need to control your mind. Think in the positive way because all of these are related to the lot of universe, the lot of attraction. Now, example, he described in this way. When you are too focused, you're serious about your job, your dream, your goal, and when I use a knife to cut into your hand, what you bleed out is not blood. What you bleed out is your passion, is your hard work. Until that level of focus, your dream will become reality. Your passion is until that level. Now, sometimes the lot of universe, it may take a little time. Sometimes it's 20 to 30 years. And today, when you look at this person, whether it's rich or poor, good or bad, sure enough, this is what he attracted 20 to 30 years ago. Or another example, today you look at this person is so successful, rich, and enjoying the yacht life. Sure enough, this person, he or she, has thought about this, attracted this in 20 or 30 years ago. He set a goal, he want to achieve the one of life. So the law of universe is how you attract the thing that you want. If you say, I don't want to be poor, and keep saying, no, I don't want to be poor. I want to refuse poor. I, I, do, I just don't want to be poor. So you see, you repeat this so many times, the universe, they will hear this. What they take is the poor and the poor and the poor and now you become poor. So use the right word, feed the right ingredient in your mind. I just want to be rich. Uh, yes, I'm rich. Yes, I have achieved what I want. So you attract the right energy in your life. And again, don't forget to think positively with your beautiful heart. The beautiful heart here is referring to the contribution. Now we as a contributor, we need to contribute to the society, to the human, to the world. And when you have this beautiful heart, sure enough, you will achieve your wonderful life. And according to Mr. Inamori, he said Kyocera in the beginning was making the fine ceramics. And these ceramics were applied in a calculator and phone. So during that time, Kyocera is the leading company for the ceramics industry. So they kept growing and they kept expanding. So when talk about this, Mr. Inamori, he said, he was not into this field. What he studied was about machine. So in the beginning, he, he didn't like this job. He didn't like about ceramics and he kept himself in the research room and keep researching. And in the end, he got the new material. And this new material, the structure, and is exactly same as the general electric. But the method of combining this new material is completely different. And you see, he was kept in the small lab to do the research. And he said he was so lucky to become the competitor of General Electric. And you see, this luck, it was probably because of the right mindset and the passion and the talent. And they say this luck kept following him until he established the Kyocera. So he believed in this world, this universe, there is a storage to store all the wisdom 
in the universe. As long as you work hard, strive harder than anyone else with the right mindset, focus, you will definitely link the wisdom to your mind. So in the end, you will got the wisdom, you will got the intelligence, the knowledge to create what you want invent your products but we as a human we need to use this wisdom wisely because this wisdom is like a knife we can use this knife to kill someone and we can use this knife to save someone and if this wisdom falls into the wrong hand human we will need to pay the price for example because of the desire we want to make money we want to achieve we want to get something and we sacrifice the ozone and our invention a human's invention is going to destroy something or we cut the forest to build houses or development and sometimes this will cause the ecosystem imbalance and when the ecosystem is imbalanced and when they need to have the correction the disasters will come to us so that's what i say human we will pay the price so as a conclusion, we need to use this wisdom wisely. If we use this wisdom wisely, which means contribute back to the world, bring benefits to humans, to animals, to plants, to ecosystem, we can have a beautiful world. So as a conclusion, we need to have the right way of life, the philosophy, so everyone can achieve a wonderful life. So that's my sharing for today. In the next video, we're gonna learn the first chapter of The Weight of Life by Mr. Inamori. If you learn something and find values from this video, you gotta smash the subscribe button and turn on all the notifications so that you're not gonna miss out any videos just like this from this channel. And most importantly is leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. I would love to read your comment and reply to your comment. And I hope to see you in the next video. Hey.